Hey there, friends. Today we're going to take a trip down memory lane and talk about the rise and fall of Blockbuster Video. You know, that place where you used to go to rent your favorite movies. Ah, the good old days. Back in the early days of video rental, there were mom and pop shops on every corner. But then came Blockbuster, with its bright yellow sign and massive selection of movies. It quickly became a household name, and for good reason. Blockbuster was more than just a place to rent movies. It was a cultural phenomenon. Who could forget the excitement of walking through those aisles on a Friday night, trying to decide which movie to take home? And let's not forget the thrill of late fees. Just kidding, those were the worst. But seriously, Blockbuster was a big part of our lives. It's no wonder we feel a sense of nostalgia when we think back on those days. But as we all know, Blockbuster eventually went the way of the dodo. And why? Technology. That's right, my friends. As streaming services like Netflix and Hulu emerged, Blockbuster failed to adapt. And the rest is history. But today, we're going to dive into that history and explore all the juicy details. So grab some popcorn and settle in, because this is going to be a wild ride. And if you want to keep up with all our latest videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. Now let's talk about the rise of Blockbuster. Back in the early days of video rental, there were small mom and pop shops scattered throughout the country. These stores would carry a limited selection of movies and charge high rental fees. But all of that changed when Blockbuster entered the scene. Blockbuster quickly became a major player in the industry, with stores popping up all over the country. They offered a wider selection of movies at lower prices, making it easier for people to rent their favorite flicks. And with their late fees, they incentivized viewers to return movies on time, which was a new concept at the time. But how did Blockbuster become so successful? Well, they had some clever strategies up their sleeve. For one, they aggressively expanded their stores across the country, making it nearly impossible for smaller stores to compete. They also struck exclusive deals with major studios, ensuring that they had the latest and greatest movies available for rental. Blockbuster's success had a huge impact on the video rental industry and the way people consume media at the time. People no longer had to wait months for a movie to become available for rental and they could easily access a wider selection of movies than ever before. And with Blockbuster's dominance, smaller rental stores struggled to keep up, and many went out of business. It's clear that Blockbuster paved the way for the modern-day streaming services we have today. But it's important to remember the impact they had on the industry, and the way we consume media. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see a rise of the rental store once again. Anything is possible in the world of entertainment. Whew, things were moving fast in the video rental industry. After the introduction of DVDs, VHS tapes were quickly phased out, and Blockbuster was on top of the world. But then came streaming services, and oh boy did they disrupt the market. Suddenly, people could watch their favorite movies and TV shows from the comfort of their own homes, without ever having to leave the couch. And Blockbuster, well they tried to adapt but they made some pretty big mistakes along the way. They tried to launch their own streaming service, but it never quite took off. And then there were the late fees. Oh, the late fees. It was like they were trying to make people hate them. But it wasn't just the late fees that turned people away from Blockbuster. It was the fact that they just didn't seem to understand what people wanted. They were slow to embrace new technology, and by the time they did, it was too late. The world had moved on without them. It's a cautionary tale, really. Blockbuster was once the king of the video rental industry, but they didn't stay on top for long. They failed to adapt to the changing landscape. And now they're nothing more than a relic of the past. So, what can we learn from their mistakes? Well, for one thing, it's important to keep up with the times. Technology moves fast. And if you're not willing to move with it, you'll get left behind. R. And now let's dive deeper into the topic at hand. You see, I'm not just here to entertain you. I'm here to educate you too. As an expert in this field, I can tell you that there's more to this than meets the eye. So, let me take you on a journey of discovery where we'll explore the nuances of this subject and uncover some fascinating insights. But before we begin, let me ask you this. Have you ever wondered why this topic is so important? Why it matters in the grand scheme of things? Well, the truth is it's not just about the surface level stuff. There are deeper implications at play here, and understanding them can be the key to unlocking a whole new level of understanding. So, buckle up folks, because we're about to go on a wild ride. And I promise you, by the end of it, you'll have a whole new appreciation for this topic. You'll be able to see it in a whole new light and understand its significance in a way you never thought possible. So are you ready to take this journey with me? Are you ready to discover the hidden depths of this subject? If so, then let's dive right in and see where this takes us. 
Trust me, it's going to be one heck of a ride. T, we've covered a lot of ground in this video, haven't we? From the history of cheese making to the different types of cheeses available, we've explored it all. And while I hope you've learned something new, I also hope you've had fun along the way. As we wrap up, I want to remind you that there's so much more to discover about cheese. From the subtle flavors of a creamy brie to the sharp tanginess of a blue cheese, each type of cheese has its own unique characteristics that are worth exploring. And remember, the next time you're at a party or hosting a get-together, don't be afraid to put together a cheese board and share your newfound knowledge with your friends. You might just be surprised at how much they appreciate it. So go forth, cheese lovers, and continue your cheese journey with an open mind and a hungry palate. Who knows what new and exciting cheeses you'll discover next. Thanks for joining me on this cheesy adventure.